Lilith got blinded, but, but the beautiful thing is her S3 cleanses her, so cleanses her whole team, so we don't care about the blind here. Push everybody back. Hey, Epic 7 players, Sodi here, back again with a new video. So today I'll be pairing Senya with Lilius. So I'll show you guys their stats. So I went for an attack focused build on my Senya. She currently has 6,688 attack. As for Lilius, I chose to go for a crit damage build. So the reason I did this is because her S3 will inflict damage according to the attack of the hero with the highest attack on your team. So what's gonna happen is, she's gonna have 6,688 attack when she does her S3 thanks to the Senya. And that damage is gonna get multiplied by the crit damage stat which is currently at max at 350. So she's gonna be hitting really hard with her S3. So I maxed the S3 out, I also gave her a portrait, this will further increase her damage by 20% and she's almost at 100 crit, I say almost because she's currently at 99% crit, so yeah hopefully we don't get 1% today. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the guild wars. So it's currently 8 hours left in the guild wars today. So I already scouted all the different options available. So first let's go for Let's go for this tower. Omnifrost. Okay, so I think I'll bring my Lilius and Senya into the first battle. Looks good. I also want to bring an attack buffer to further amplify that damage, so I'll bring Dien. Yeah, I think Dien's pretty good here. Okay, for the second battle, hmm. Let me think. So it's basically a protect the Arbiter Vildred comp. So what I do here is I go for Falconer Cleary plus TM Lulicus, pretty good, I think. And then I. There's some RNG elements here, so yeah, that's probably a counter RB, so if Falcon Cleary doesn't defense break, we could be in trouble, so what I do here is I also bring my ammo haste, so we got two RB counters, yeah, looks good, alright, let's go. Okay, we outsped. Okay. So all units on the opponent's end on immunity set. It takes a lot of courage to challenge me. I see a damage here. <laughs> wow, wow, we almost lost our Lilius. Okay. Wow, Emo Kim did not get taken out. Okay, he got taken out by the Sandy's passive. Yes, S2 here. So Kron's gonna go for the Sandy because um I'm just gonna S2 in case he's a counter Kron. He's gonna go for the Sandy because he's fire. There's no way he's gonna one shot out Sandy through all of those buffs. Yeah, we got crit resist. Okay, wow, that that was fun. Like, okay, sure, there's no damage mitigation, but <laughs> gotta play safe for the first round, right? Okay. Ah, uh, so hmm, Arbitrus on Bastion of, I mean, Arbitrus got Bastion of Perlucia protecting him. So hopefully we land this S3. That's very important. If we land the strip and defense break, we win. Of course, of course. Oh, okay, let me think. We still have to just go for the ammo haze. I mean the um the arbiter here. I will fight until the bitter end. 
Okay. What's gonna happen here? Are we just gonna get churned, right? Yeah. We're still okay because we have MO haste. Yeah, good thing he did, uh, the Arbiter didn't proc MODB the air on our TM Lulika. Or else I don't think. Um, I don't think my MO haste can take him out. Yeah, if we, if we didn't bring our MO haste, we would have been in trouble here. So I'm just gonna go for the RB here. Miss. Hit. Okay. Alright, so Lilith plus T Corset. Um, these two together don't do anything. They, they aren't threats. So the moment RB falls, it's pretty much over here. Alright. Okay, Holy Sacrifice. Funny thing is, um, Ammo Haze counters Holy Sacrifice. <laughs> Look at the barriers we got from that. Alright. Okay, this should take out the Crescent. So the Lilius is on. Bastion of Perlushir and the Crescents on Holy Sack. Interesting. Very tanky Lilius though. Um, 24k HP Lilius. So since Lilius is that tanky, she doesn't. He probably doesn't have ER. Okay, we didn't defense break. Well, Falconer is not doing much today. <laughs> That's the thing about Falconer. If you get 15% hit, you don't. You won't do much. Now the hero relies on landing her debuff first turn, right? Especially in RTA. Like, you, if you don't land your debuff um, on your Falcon Cleary, you're, you're gonna have a tough time. Okay. See a damage here. 15k, not bad. Alright, next battle. Wow, we almost cleaved with our Lilith there, like that that was close. Okay. Um hmm. So next let's go for I think Lionheart's open. Yeah, let's go for the Lionheart Fortress. So I'll bring Lilith and Senya into the first battle, but instead instead of the end I don't think I can bring the end, because if I use DN's S3, the Celine is going to um, it's going to go for the Senya, right? Because the Senya has um, highest attack. So we can't bring Dien. Um, sure, the Selene may not crit because of our crit resistance, but Selene plus K1 will probably take out our Senya, so I'm not going to bring Dien. Instead, I'll bring F10. I think F10 is way too good here. Yeah. And, okay, second battle. So what I do here is I bring. A Tywin to counter the Mobile, and then I go for. Okay, I can't do Falconer plus TM Lulica because the Mobile is just gonna cut in after our F Cleary goes. So, I, I mean, I could do it if I bring A Tywin, but if that Mobile is on Crown and he stuns our TM Lulica, we pretty much lost, so we can't bring. Um, Falconer plus TM Ludica. So what I do here is I bring a different damage dealer. Go for Chico Arbiture. Nah, I go for Remnant Valid. For the third spot, I could just bring. Let's play safe here. Let's go for Mo Haste. Yeah, all right, looks good. Alright, yeah, let's go. Okay. Hopefully we okay. So everything's on immunity, but we're gonna okay. We hit. Hopefully we strip. Okay, we pro. Okay, very good. Um, S three here. See the damage. Wow! Look at that. Look at how much the Ruel took. <laughs> how much damage the Ruel took, and we stunned her. <laughs> well, Senya doesn't have to do anything here. Okay, I mean, she contributed technically because of her high attack. Okay, let's see a damage on the S1. 
the S1 doesn't have the scaling. S1 doesn't have the attack scaling from the Senya. Only her, only Lilia's S3 has that scaling. Well, wow, it's actually pretty fun. Um, yeah, I think this could definitely be a thing. So okay, yeah, my A timing is pretty fast. He's like two, he's 258 speed right now. So um, do I? Uh, go for my S3 here. I don't think I have to go for my S3, right? Uh, nah, I should. Just to play safe. I mean... Nothing's on the immunity set, so... Okay, wow, I like propped Alexis. Okay, good thing Rowlet evaded. So what I do here is I just go for the Arbiter. It's a speed RB with one shot, yeah. Yeah, just, just take out the Arbiter first. Okay, alright, so go for my S3 here, heal everybody up. Almost one shot it, okay. A time, this is why A time encounters Immobile because his passive just cleanses the sleep from Immobile's S2. Okay, now I go for the Immobile. I mean, he's gonna S3, but I'll do I go for the FCC first, just slowly work on her. Immobile's S3, he's got 21k HP, he can one-shot. Um, He can one-shot my Rowlet. He can't one-shot the MO Haze though. He has to hit the the Rowlet though, let's see if we can provoke him. Okay, we can provoke him, so that's good. Okay, so right here, I want to remove the skill nullifiers. Yeah, so our Rowlet's S2 counter will go into the units here. Okay, so I won't provoke... I won't provoke the Immobile now. Because I want him to attack my Rowlet. Oh, he went for the Ammo Haste, okay. I'm just gonna keep going for him. Okay. Let's keep going for him, I guess. I mean, we're doing more damage than the FCC's barrier. Okay, here comes the S3. Who is he going for? He went for the ammo haze. There's no way it's doing. It's not gonna do that much. It did 10k. My ammo haze got 25k HP. So yeah, we're okay here, I think. Yeah. Sober in here. Okay. Here comes the S2, went into. Alright. Yeah, it's harder to use. It's harder to draft Rowlet in RTA now because there's so many counters to him, but in GBG he's still really good. Really nice unit. I, I still do use him in RTA though if I see fit. If I if I see that he you know, if he's good in the draft then I would draft him. But he's like a fourth to fifth pick unit. Alright, okay, that's pretty clean. Okay, third and final battle. So, the third fight, um, it's gonna be tougher. This defense is tough, I kept it for last. So, we're going for Scourge King. Alright. So, I'll be bringing Lilius and Senya into the second battle. Yeah, that's A Tywin. That's probably damage mitigation here, but I think we'll still do good damage. And I'll bring my DN. Okay, yeah, we can bring DN here. I mean, Shao's pretty good into DN, but I think we're okay. Um, for the first battle, Spring Bazaar. I also made my DN tank here now. She's got almost 20k HP. Um, Spring Bazaar into the first battle. We can do Bazaar, another book holder. Spectre and counter to T Siren, TM Lulica. 
I have to give my TM Lulika uh, artifacts. Um, let's give her Oath Key, I think. I think it's on my L Felt. Let me check. L Felt. Uh, yeah. So my L Felt TM Lulika. Yeah, I gotta give her Oath Key to counter MODB. Increase hit chance by 20%. Double check. Alright, Oath Key looks good, I think. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Third and final battle. Okay, Soulburn here, remove Ariane G. Yeah, the only way we lose here is if the teaser in procs MODB on my Bazaar. That's the, that's literally yeah, literally 20% chance to lose. But after that, it's pretty much clean if we don't miss the teaser in. Right here, just done the landy. Okay. Wow, 27k HP FCC, very tanky. Wow, she did a lot of damage to my um my TM Lulika. Okay. Alright. Alright, final battle. Okay, it's a speed obby. So our Lilith got blinded. But but the beautiful thing is her S3 cleanses her, so cleanses her whole team, so we don't care about the blind here. Push everybody back. <laughs> wow. Holy crap. Okay, comes the S2. Eight point eight, eight point one k damage. Wow! <laughs> wow, that's crazy. All right, that was really fun. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm definitely doing this again. Just letting you guys know, I'm definitely gonna try this out again. But next time, I'll try this team on, you know, tankier teams. Yeah. I mean, that second defense. Okay, like if I bring it into an FCC team. Um, yeah, will, will we have enough damage versus an FCC team? That's just, that's a question. I mean, like, the second defense does have two knights. And I did go for squishier teams today, like, the first battle, um, three very strong DPS units, but no damage mitigation, and also Senja is really good into Elmo Ken, let's say, because she doesn't crit, right? So, and, like, my... Also, my Lilius does have some survivability. It's on the low side, but like it's enough to survive Emil Ken's counter attacks. Like Emil Ken can't one shot her, even with attack buff. And you know, if he doesn't get off his S3, he's not gonna have the attack buff, right? So yeah, that's really fun. I'm definitely doing this again um, in the next uh, GVG video. So I'll think about maybe I could try some other combo. Maybe I could do like Elfelt defense break into Lilius S3 with Senya's attack, so, so yeah, I'll show you guys my Senya again, I did some changes, um, where is she, so why, so the way I increased the attack was I gave her flat attack, uh, through her ring, like, I, I, I think the attack was effectiveness before, I changed effectiveness into flat attack, also the boots, uh, it had 17% effectiveness, changed it to flat attack so yeah I'm 
really investing into this unit. Um, Maxenia does not have any imprints by the way. If she had maxed imprint plus I max out this artifact, I could get her attack up to I think 6.9k, maybe even 7k, probably close to 7k if I, you know, had her imprints max, but yeah, I don't have the resources. I mean, I, I could spend resources to go for more copies, but I'm waiting for the incoming collab, right? So yeah, I'm just gonna stick with this. It's enough damage, I think. Like, yeah, today's results speak for themselves. So next skill wars, I'm gonna go for tankier defenses. I see how she does, how this combo does versus tankier defenses. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed today's GVG video. If you did, please give my video a like and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to join my Epic 7 Discord. The link is down below in the description. So have a great day guys. Sodi signing out.